and we're getting there. This is why I don't split them up. <laughs> Good. So, for the last year, sometime around December, January, I suddenly noticed I couldn't read my phone without closing an eye. I said, that's weird. Went to the doctor, got to an ophthalmologist. My, my regular doctor sent me to an ophthalmologist. Low blood flow in my eyes. Maybe stroke. They did tons of scans on me, could not find any evidence of a stroke. Nothing. Yet, my eye still, my left, the inner muscle on my left eye was damaged, was not working right. Damaged is the wrong term now. Was not working right. Something was still wrong. They couldn't find out what was going on. Um, we, the diagnosis went to from a stroke, no, no signs of strokes, um, went to sleep apnea. Turns out my first test with sleep apnea um, proved that I don't they recently changed the markings for sleep apnea, and you have to have this one mark that I don't have. But I was still getting sleep disturbance and disturbances. So something was going on. But that sleep apnea guy, or pul that was the pulmonologist, so he was also dealing with my lungs. I also have COPD, because um, I used to smoke. And so my lungs are destroyed. So breathing is a problem in the first place. But um, that pulmonologist went on vacation and left me in a lurch. And I felt I was dying every night. It was getting worse. And, and the weird part about it is that if I exercised, I felt worse. My muscles would get worse. If I, ex if I used them, that was weird. Um, so, okay, we're, we're continuing. Got to another sleep apnea um, sleep study program that got me onto a C CPAP device, that, that guy. And that helps me sleep, but if you have sleep apnea and you get onto a CPAP device, it basically cures you overnight. It's an instant change, and I didn't have that. It was not a, mark, a miraculous change. I still was dying every night, but I was at least sleeping, which was an improvement. Was, what a sleep apnea device does is you have a mask over your, it's either just in your nose or over your entire, your mouth and your nose. It constantly pumps air at you at a certain pressure. They have to figure out what pressure is best for you. And it means that you are constantly getting air. It is, it's a constant pressure, and I don't remember what the other two letters are. <laughs> constant positive airway pressure, yes. It maintains a constant pressure into your lungs. Um, so that the, the problem with CPAP apnea is you stop breathing. By pumping air at you, you can't stop breathing. 
And so typically that solves the problem. Did not solve the problem. Then they started thinking, well, there's something neuro neurologically wrong with me. Got some appointments for neurology. Last month I came to the meeting and said, I'm dying. Brad, take over. <laughs> um, and so I passed off all that stuff. I think it within that next week. This is my last night's report, at least. I got a good report. They, they look at um, how, how many hours you use it, how good your mass seal is, because that affects the whole thing. It is constantly leaking air. How many events I have per hour. When they first measured me, I was like 18 events per hour. Um, so it's good. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. You really had sleep apnea. <laughs> yes. Yes. It w and basically cured you. Yes. No, you use it every night. This is every night. Yeah. And so that, that itself was good. And come the 30th, I was in the hospital because I couldn't breathe. Could not breathe at all. And they treated my CO. COPD and sent me home. Slept for about four hours. Woke up. I can't swallow. Oh shit. <laughs> um, called the ambulance, got me back into the hospital. That night, somewhere around that night, some, yeah, that night. They put me into ICU, and I remember waking up with crowds around me because I couldn't breathe, and I was pulling everything out of my face. I couldn't breathe. Um, woke up next with a tube down my throat, and um, something was breathing, I guess breathing for, I don't remember them breathing for me. I don't. No, at that, I imagine I was on a ventilator. Right, that, that, that's what they had to do. They found the director of strokes at Good Samaritan Hospital is a neurologist that happens to know about this disease. Um, and it's extremely rare, fewer than a thousand cases per year in the US. Um, definitely requires lab tests. There is no known cure. There is treatments. Um, I take a drug four times a day that keeps what, what the disease is, is there is a thalamus gland behind your breastplate. That, the thalamus gland. It produces antibodies. It normally disappears in adults. It's normally just there when you're a child, and it goes away. Um, it produces antibodies that affects the neuron muscle connection. 
And so you have fewer receptors. The receptors go away or they're disturbed, they're, they're not working. And as you use those muscles, the receptors go away. Um, and basically you lose muscle control on all of your voluntary muscles. So yes, I was dying. Um, this neur neurologist has many patients on this drug for one, it takes, they sent a sample to Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. It takes four weeks to come back with a diagnosis. Luckily, they didn't wait. They put me on the drug. Within days, I was alive. I was back breathing. I was breathing on my own. I, it's every day I have something more. Brad was telling me, I sounded better this morning. Um, my throat, because of the trach tube, it's worse, but I was losing my voice through the year. Um, I used to sing in a choir. Nope, that went away early spring. Um, It, there, there's various other things they say about this where we, there's the Mayo Clinic one. Um, as I said, the thalamus gland typically dis disappears in adults. Sometimes it does grow larger in the cases of this disease. If, if they could find it, and they could, then they would immediately remove it and I'd be cured. They have to find it. In some cases, some cases it gets larger. Some cases get tumors in it. Um, at a thousand cases a year, they don't have much history. They don't have many cases. They don't know what's exact. They don't know what causes it. Um, but it basically, eye muscles, double vision, face and throat muscles, all of those, my neck and limb muscles. Um, when the neurologist finally came in after the next day, when I finally met him, he pushed my arms and my head around with his pinky. Um, it's, I had lost that much muscle at that point in time. I knew I could barely hold my head up. Um, and they looked for the gland. They couldn't find it. Um, so it's just take me medicine the rest of my life. Many. Many through the year. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Neither one of them found it. Um, couldn't find a stroke either. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were looking for, they were searching for everything and couldn't find it. And it took this one doctor finding, recognizing me and throwing me on the right medicine, just guessing at it. Yeah, it's still a guess. We still don't know for sure, but I'm getting better. So I don't care. <laughs> As, as long as I'm getting better, I'm fine. I'll, I'll take meds. Four times a day. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, I, I, 
much better. I still get double vision occasionally if I get tired. Um, it gets worse. Um, I get tired easily. <laughs> uh, when I'm not tired, like right now, I've got single vision. Yeah. Um, by, by later this evening, I won't. <laughs> It'll be back. Um, but I did get glasses that have a prism in one lens. They're no good for me anymore because it's changing that quick now. It's changing much faster now. Yeah. It just is. I don't know why. Um, they don't know what causes it. Can't cure it. They can fix the symptoms. It's not a cure. It, it's like most of the autoimmune diseases, the Parkinson's, um, Alzheimer's, MS, LS, ALS. There's not cures. They just treat the symptoms. And they don't know how long that will last. They don't know how much I will come back how much I will actually be able to function anymore. Oh, I'm already better than I was months ago. Um, I'm already doing better. So, fine. I'm, I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with job and the whole bit. My job has been very good with me through the year. My productivity sucks, but they're letting me continue to work and um, working with me. We'll see how that goes. I've got to decide what I'm going to do. I don't know yet. Around December, January, I stopped being able to read. So the theory is that my eyes will be the last to come back. I don't know. Um, right now, it's my throat is more sign because they shoved a th tube down me. But that's what it is. I'm back. I'm going to let Brad keep on going as long as he's willing to. <laughs> but yeah, thanks. Oh, Mike. Okay, for those of you out in Internet land who haven't been here to watch it, I would say 90% of the YouTube videos of the meetings that we've been having for years now were done, uh, streamed by Dennis. And I wanted to say how grateful we are for him to have done that for us. And uh, I'd like to give him a long round of applause for that. I'd also like to mention Sam Falvo, who I think pretty much got us started, is that fair to say, in the YouTube streaming business. And, uh, you know, Sam, Sam had to decommit from that because he had other things going on, and Dennis picked it up, and he has a life. Dennis has a life, too, but he was willing to make uh, a small part of it available to us for this purpose, and like I say, we're very grateful. And I'd also like to thank Brad, who has picked up the torch, and will run with it. <laughs> and thank you, Brad. All right, uh, we'll see you next month. And if there's no agenda before the meeting, get over it.
the, the agenda problems have actually been straightened out. There will be an agenda before the meeting. It may be the completely all robot Don takes the whole day meeting. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be in a position to do that and Don will decide to do that. Thank you very much. Have a good, uh, good month and we'll see you next month. So when we have the all-day workshop, bring your laptops because I will have extra boards. Um, I'm, get, I'm having 15 boards made, so those people that haven't purchased a board, they can still play with one. So bring your laptop.